You ever had to do something you didn't feel like doing it? That's how I feel right now. I am eating for no reason. And I feel like a stuffed bird. Like, I just feel like I'm constantly doing like this. Because my shirt is snug. I'm just big and busted up for no reason. Just eating everything in the sun, under the sun. And my face, my skin, my body is telling on me big time. Y'all listen, it's Saturday. I'm bored. I'm procrastinating. I got things I need to do that need to be done. I can't leave the house because my car is broken. It's going to take about $300 to get it fixed. My house is not dirty, but it's junky. And I'm trying to get rid of stuff. And I need to get rid of stuff, sell stuff, donate stuff, trash stuff, clean up, wash clothes. Yeah, all of that. But I don't feel like it. And I'm trying to watch YouTube. I normally listen to YouTube while I do what I need got to get done. But then I realized I can be uploading videos. And my videos are going to be random stuff about... It's nothing going to be nothing the same thing every time. It's just random stuff. I like to watch videos where people are just everyday normal people. They don't, you know... They just... They work or they don't work or they do crafts, DIYs, home decor, hair, nails, whatever. I watch all of it. Um, You know, it's just whatever. Y'all, I'm just... Oh, gosh. I need to clean this room. I really do. I'm trying to contemplate. I didn't have in my budget to get a car fixed, but unfortunately, I'm trying not to use a credit card, which I may have to go ahead and just use. I hate the fact that I have to deal with this. My battery died during the process, so I got a new battery. A eighty dollar battery, anyway. Um. And then it's the distributor, and that's two hundred and something dollars, and the guy's only charging a hundred dollars to do that. Which, when I watch on YouTube, you just unplugging and unscrewing, like you don't have to tear down the engine, or nothing. It's just something attached to whatever where you put your spark plugs at, and it's on the side of that. I, you know, <laughs> Google it, and you just pulling out plugs, unscrewing something, pulling it off, putting the new one on, and make sure it lines up, and that's it, a hundred dollars. But you know, people got to make money. I. I'm so tired of just, I don't know. My, I have a Honda. And with Hondas, depending on the years you have, all Hondas have this one same issue. Not No, I'm not going to say one same issue. The same freaking, well, I guess it depends on the car. I don't know. Like, <sighs> Hondas are really good cars. I'll never take that away from Honda, but when it's time to fix it, it's expensive. And there's certain things on the cars that will always fail you, like the driver's size window. I don't know why Honda can't get it right. Honda, you got cars from, I've had the oldest year car I had some years ago was a 94. Why are uh, your newer Hondas having, I think the newer Hondas are having an issue with the driver's side window. That's just so stupid to me. Come on, Honda. I mean, you're known for the best. Keep it, whatever. But I'm just aggravated. But I, I will say my next car will not be a Honda. It just is on. I see other cars that have a lot of issues, and I get issues are going to happen. And I know there's some other cars that run good as long as you keep it up, it's expensive. But I keep having the same issue with the windows. Just, but anyway, random. Just try not to clean up. But yes, in my closet room, needing to clean up some things, straighten up some things. Um, since I'm stuck in the house, I have to do a um, Apple G treatment today on my hair. So I'm doing that. Do my little oil mixture. Um, I got Jehovah, Jeho Jehovah, Jehovah oil that, and then I have some sweet almond, and then I got some grapeseed. These oils are freaking expensive, but anyway, so. I use this like on my hair, on my face. So far, I hadn't had any issues. Let me tell you something. The older you get, your skin changes and your hair changes. I'm sure everybody knows that. And I know some people might suggest use this, use this. But you can't use everything on your face. You, your, your skin may take it well. The next person's skin, it might go crazy. And it's bad because now you have to find what's going to work. But by the time, a lot of times you find what works, you bought a lot of products that you don't need. So these have been pretty good. Um, I washed my face with, I can't never pronounce it right, but this is the moisturizer to it. Um, excuse my nails. So what I do is I get that with a little bit of oil. 
and that's what I use on my face in the morning. But I'm going to tell you something I've noticed about me. I have not been eating right. I've been eating a lot of processed poison food. That's why I'm, I'm big as a bear. And my skin is letting me know. My skin changes when I eat a lot of foolishness. I know some people, you know, and like I said, I watch a, a lot of YouTube and I notice a lot of people say, try this, try this, try this. Everything's not going to work for everybody's face because everybody's face, body, skin is different. And a lot of times, I want to say all the time, is what you're putting in the inside. Your outside reacts to what's going on in the inside. That's facts. That's with every human body. I believe that one. That's that's just not, you know, some people might say, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. I guarantee you. Like, um, I have what's called a leaky gut. If you want to know about that, you know, of course, you could Google it. And it's showing up. Now my scalp has um, eczema or whatever. That's because I have a leaky gut. You know where the leaky gut come from? Eating bad food. Eating all bad food all the time. Processed food. Poison food. You see how the inside shows up on the outside? So I know this and I need to stop. And I got to the point to where I lost a lot of weight. Was good. Didn't tone, so I was, was some flabs. And I should have toned. And um, eating better, drink water. And stuck with it. And then I got real relaxed. And I've done this so many times. But this time I actually hit past the goal. Which floored me. But um, I got to get back with it. Hey y'all listen. This brush right here. I got this off Amazon for about 5 or $6. Dollars. Invest. I'm telling you invest in it. I forgot what you call it. I don't know what you call it. I'm sorry. I hate to tell somebody something. And not even know the name of it. But y'all know it's the. Y'all know the brush. It has this little clippy thing on it. Because when you brush it. It comes like this. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so that's so tacky. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh next time I have the name of Lisa, I'm gonna tell you something. But anyway. Yeah. So um but yeah, so I, I know what my issue is. I need to get in line and I need to stay in line and I need to keep it going. Y'all know something about Dollar Tree? This random. I don't care what you see this? It's the roly thingy majiggy. I don't care what the beauty I'm not gonna say a beauty community. The beauty, the beauty company is put out. Dollar Tree always get it. <laughs> you see this right here? This thing. Oh, oh gosh, I feel so. Oh yes, Jesus Lord, go. Oh. Woo, gosh, I think feel good. It's so nice and cold. Listen, this thing run, and it's the stone. It's that. It's that. I don't know what kind of how you want to call it stone, but this thing blood it, blood circulation elastic elasticity even skin tone. Listen. I got this from Dollar Tree. This little joker is, I think, I want to say, where did I, I can't, I, I, my phone, I got my other phone. This thing is expensive. Like, they're spending money for this thing. I got the same exact tool for Dollar Tree. That's why I'm always in a Dollar Tree. And see, that's why I got me in trouble. But yeah, I I don't know if it works. I've had it in my, my drawer for a long time, but I'm going to keep it out to remind me. I'm sorry, y'all. That was I just ran off on a tangent. But um, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I have to start eating healthier and better. And, I mean, I need to. I mean, not just for skin purposes, you know, so my health can get better, so I can get better, so I can feel better, sleep better, look better. Um, I realize that when I eat a lot of food and gain weight, my skin change, like you're, you're sluggish, you can't make it mess up with you. I've been watching Dr. Berg a lot, and everything he said I can attest to because... I understand and it made sense and a lot of the stuff I'm like you know what that makes sense because I was wondering I was thinking and it, it just I, you just got to pay attention I know some people don't like the keto thing and you know I notice a lot of people when they hear about something they blow it out of proportion like he say eat a lot of fat that man never said he never said it about eating a lot of fat he never said nothing about eat a lot of fat he just told you about a lot of good fats like I didn't know you know like salmon avocado that's some of the good fats he's talking about. But there's nothing wrong with those. They're, they're healthy. They have a lot of omega-3s or whatever. But, um, you know, um, he was talking about don't eat unless you're hungry. Some people push the fact that you should eat three meals a day. Why if you why give yourself something if you're not ready for it? Like, if I'm not hungry, why should I go eat? I'm not starving. I'm not sick. That's just like, that's just the equivalent. Like, you know, let me go to work just because... You know, the building's open, but I don't work on Sundays. Or, you know, or let me just go and buy a car just because I have the money and I don't need it. Like, stuff like that. You know, it's just common sense stuff, which makes sense. I've 
I don't have a problem. Like I'll get so busy and doing whatever, you know, I can have one meal and be okay all day. My digestive system is off because I can get up in the morning and not eat, not be hungry throughout the day and get home and eat and I'm okay. And it, and I, I'm feeling full. I hadn't even eat. So I know that I need to get the, the, the crap out, but you know, I don't need a lot of food. I'm realizing too, a lot of heavy foods. My body's over it. My body is so over it. And you know, just got to get better and do better. Um, this is my last thing. So, yeah. And as I just go off on a tangent again, yeah, just got to get it together. That's all it is. I really do. I need to do my lashes. Oh, my gosh. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. I'm going to try to start doing the individual lashes. It's supposed to be not free, but they got not. So... I bought some of those because my lashes, they curl like this. And then they, it's as if they almost curl so far. They hit the back of my eyelid, my, my eyelids. So I can't, it's hard for me to put lashes on. I don't care how I do it. I've watched so many videos and it's not working for me. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. That's what's going on in my life. And I need to do it and not just talk about it because I'm good for that. Oh, I'm good. I tell them myself, I'm good for that. I'm good. I'm a good procrastinator. I'll talk about I need to do this, that, and the other. No. I hadn't I hadn't did anything and I need to quit doing that. I said I was gonna leave this out to remember, remind myself. So yeah. I'm hoping to get it together sooner versus later. I got to do this treatment today. <sighs> My neighbor has a, um, he's retired Navy. Is he retired Navy? He's retired somebody. And he did something else and he fixed cars. And I like his setup because you would never know he fixed cars. And he has like an actual shed that looks like a house. I mean, he, the setup, you would, he, the setup is, is, is crazy. Um, and I like it because it's so clean and professional looking and, you know, like I said, you would never know he fixed cars. You would never know. He's never dirty looking. You don't never see a lot of, there's no junk cars. All the cars over there are, they're running only three of them. They're running. They look fine. The, the yard is well kept. Like it's just, it doesn't look like, you know, some of the, I'm from the country. So, you know, I know what a backyard, <laughs> I ain't gonna say a shady tree mechanic cause not all of them shady looks like when they got a bunch of crap in the yard and cars and you don't have that so i'm i'm procrastinating i don't know what time it is on um what time it is it's 12 33 about him getting this part and me paying for it um but that might not be the issue but is is one of the parts is showing bad in their system which throws off the other part but the bad thing is he could fix the main part the, the distributor and then it worked fine or it may not so it's hard to tell i've noticed that with doctors and mechanics if they don't know what's wrong they start with one thing and then they they do the the elimination test so you know they'll try one thing and if that don't work then they go to the next thing and you're pumping out money still hadn't get to the problem and no one knows exactly what's what. And I hate that part. Um, I've never seen a mechanic or know a mechanic who know exactly what it is or a doctor know exactly what it is. I went into a doctor's office one day and this young girl was a, she wasn't a, she was a, she wasn't a student. I forgot what she was. And I was, and I had a mark on my skin. And at that time, that was the first sign of, um, ugh, is that, oh, that's oil. I'm sorry. First sign of eczema. And I didn't know until years later when I found out what it was. And that's what it was. She was Googling pictures, Googling and misdiagnosed the hell out of me. You know what? Just because <clears throat> you went to school, just pay attention to these doctors because a lot of them don't know. And they'll sit there and try to figure out what it could be and it'd be something totally different. <coughs> Um, Dr. Bird said something. He was like, everybody that has high blood 
and overweight. He said he can guarantee you every last one of them have incident resistance. I bet. I don't know anybody who's ever had a test called incident resistance. I've never heard of the test. I don't doubt it, but you know, but I got to get together. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling. I need to clean up. I really do. I need to get together. I have a lot of this left. Well, it's just me and my house anyway, so it'll make a difference. But guys, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Saturday. I may upload. I'm going to upload some videos and start because I enjoy YouTube a lot and start uploading random stuff. Listen, you're looking for random stuff. I got it. I don't have the bougie stuff. I don't have the tricks and I don't have the, I don't know. Hell, I'm going to be learning from y'all because that's where I learned from makeup, nails, hair, and all from YouTube. But anyway... Y'all enjoy y'all day. I'm going to clean up and stop procrastinating and blah, blah, blah. But guys, enjoy. Y'all have a great day. I will chit chat with you another time. Bye, guys.